Hi, this is Charles from WPDevShed.com. In this video, I want to introduce you to some research we've been doing. Uh, we track today around 450, and that number's growing, but right now it's around 450 uh, websites all over the world um, hosted on 10 of the largest or more popular uh, shared hosting um, services around. And we realize that if we aggregated all of the, um, the monitoring data and tracking data that we're getting for all of those sites, that we could paint a really interesting picture of um, sort of average performance of each of these hosting companies over time. I mean, we have great resolution on this. We're checking each of those sites every minute of every hour of every day. So we get some good data. And, uh, and we've managed to pull it together, I think, in a way that makes it really interesting to check out. Uh, in this video, I'm going to focus on a, a, uh, a comparison between Bluehost and HostGator uh, by way of giving you a flavor of the kind of information we've got. But if you click the link below, you can check out the site, check out this study in particular, but also uh, all the data we have on the other hosting companies as well. So, uh, getting right into it then. Uh, this is a chart, that, uh, an example of the kind of data we're getting out of our research at the moment. This chart shows us the average daily uptime uh, for Bluehost versus HostGator. So this, in other words, uh, the average uptime for all of the sites hosted by Bluehost that we're tracking versus the average uptime for all the sites hosted by HostGator. Now I need to just point out a couple of things about this chart. The scale starts at 96% uptime here, so this is this dip here doesn't represent a complete failure. Uh, it doesn't mean to say the site's gone offline completely. This scale is all, starts all the way up at 96%, so this is a bit of a dip here. Uh, and dipping down to 96, 97%, that's not hours of downtime. That represents minutes of downtime. So depending on when that happened, uh, if it was at night, you might not even notice. And in fact, I should also point out that any downtime that any host has um, we will capture it in our reporting, but it could have been planned. You know, often hosts will, have, in the middle of the night, will do planned downtime for maintenance or changing out parts or, you know, part of their network or whatever. Um, so just because a site goes down temporarily for a few minutes, it doesn't mean to say it was an unplanned outage. Just need to point that out. Uh, if I drag out the, uh, the slider here and look at going all the data we have going back a few months now, uh, you can see one unplanned outage. This is the, this big spike here uh, was the infamous um, uh, outage on New Year's Eve, which impacted both Bluehost and HostGator. Those two companies and a few others are owned by the same parent company, and apparently have all of, or, or most of, or a lot of their uh, hosting in the same data center in Provo, Utah, which uh, went offline on New Year's Eve can see here that they both suffered uh, pretty badly. Um, other than that, and, and a couple of um, um, wobbles uh, more recently and uh, later part of Jan, the data we show shows that both sites are pretty stable, uh, up around that 99% uptime, which is you know what they advertise, so that's great to see. Now, uh, we also have the same data, but uh, kind of the opposite view. This is uh, daily average downtime represented in minutes. And so this can be interesting as well. It's basically the same data, but you can see here that, uh, that New Year's Eve outage. You can see that um, the, of all the Bluehost sites that we track, they averaged 152 minutes of downtime. That's a lot of downtime. Uh, and uh, HostGator was around two hours. Um, so a little less, but uh, still two hours of downtime on average for those sites. Um, and then you can see down here that uh, when it, those other dips represent, you know, um, maybe 40 minutes of downtime. Um, so if that happened at night, you might not even notice, like I say. Still, 40 minutes of downtime is not brilliant, is it? Uh, anyway, the third chart that we have um, is possibly the most interesting one. Uh, this is the average daily response times. So in other words, the average response time for all of the Bluehost sites that we uh, track versus the um, HostGator sites. Every minute, of every hour of every day, we ping these sites and we check the server response time and we're averaging all of those here. So you can see that um, for a long time Bluehost was typically faster than uh, HostGator, but more recently that has um, not always been the case and they've, they've had a few spikes up to very similar levels and in fact um, our most recent check they, uh, they 
overtook uh, HostGator fairly significantly. Um, so this is a really interesting comparison and on this alone I would be tempted to pick Bluehost over HostGator. Historically they've had a faster average response time for their servers um, despite the fact that apparently they're in the same uh, data center. I'm not sure what that says um, and, I, and I should also point out in fact that our checks are run randomly from points all around the world so we don't favor sites in any particular location so, um, so it's a pretty good um, test I think of the sites uh, that are hosted by these companies. So, uh, so anyway, uh, this you know, I'm recording this on the uh, on Valentine's Day, 14th of February. Uh, if you're watching this video at some point later, the data may well have evolved or changed since then. Uh, so you can go to uh, w, uh, w, uh, wpdevshed.com and get it out, uh, and you'll find uh, this uh, blog post here, which includes live charts. And by live, I mean they're updated automatically every single day with the previous day's data. So uh, you can come here and you can check out the, uh, the ongoing performance of these two web hosts. Uh, and if you find this blog post, you'll also see some links down the side to check out the historical performance of uh, a range of other web hosting companies as well. So it makes for interesting reading. If you found this uh, informative, please give it a thumbs up, help other people find the video, or pop over to the, uh, the blog post and, and give us a like or a tweet. That would be much, much appreciated. Uh, help us know that we're on the right track with uh, doing this sort of, um, providing this sort of information service. Cheers. See ya.